A question of character. character. Kirby is a magnificent warrior of puff. He is a blob of ultimate force. Cutting power. Kirby will devour his enemies and possess their souls. I am now you. Your existence is puff. Kirby is joyful about his acquisition of enemy spirits. It gives him pride as well as fire. Did I mention the cutting power? How did such a being ever come into existence? Well, first you draw a circle, then you dot the eyes, I add a great big smile, then do the rest and smack his face with a holy paintbrush. Kirby has risen. Kirby lives in dreamland. Kirby and the dreamland citizens have lost their ability to dream. How can one live in dreamland, the land of dreams, and not dream? Because of naughty King DDD. Kirby caught this filthy self-proclaimed king of mischief happily desecrating the waters of dream within the dream spring wearing a bathing suit. Moreover, this rascal king has broken the star rod which fuels the dream spring and provided the shattered pieces to his minion cohorts. But they are no match for the power of Kirby. Kirby will slice them and their futile weaponry. To hell with your apples. Then dance before their wounded carcass. The shelled clams would rather commit suicide than face Kirby's awesome power. Kirby set to make things right. He wants his dreams. Kirby will fly into action. He will move left and right. He will perform a somersault. Kirby will slide and he will expand his frame with an enormous amount of dreamland oxygen to fly over stuff. Kirby is an excellent sword fighter with an elegant stance. And even if Kirby happens to lose the fencing match, he will just eat his opponent. The fight was never fair. Kirby can fly, but Kirby cannot land ever. The enemies may come to Kirby with a bean. Kirby will eat them. Now Kirby has the bean. And when Kirby grows tired of the beam, he will poop it out as magical star poop. It does not phase Kirby if your soul becomes star poop. In fact, all of his enemies are star poop. Spark enemies are star poop. Fire breathing beasts are star poop. Kirby will antagonize mushroom people, steal their hat, and kill them with their own hat. Kirby does not care. And hopefully, you don't have a problem with this. And if you do have a problem, then Kirby will just happily consume you. You are now nothing, literally, because Kirby has just eaten your soul and determined that you are nothing. You offer nothing of value for Kirby. You are not even worth becoming star poop. Kirby can adapt to any terrain and blow deadly bubbles. He will turn into a living fireball. If enemies run into Kirby, he may be hurt, but they will die. Kirby also has a deadly breath of flight. What has been inhaled will be exhaled to destroy the putrid smell. Kirby is not a great artist. As serious as this situation is, Dreamland inhabitants still make time for fun fun kitty kid games. In the middle of an impending Armageddon of Dream, Kirby will play high jumps, play an oversized crane game featuring himself then peek out to see if anyone witnessed him goofing off and afterwards seal the crane game with wooden boards as if to say, what crane game? Kirby will also play egg catcher. In the land of dreams, Kirby can do whatever he desires. He'll suck your soul and receive hammer power, jumping power, laser power. Kirby will rock the mic, tornado power, 
tire power. Kirby will perform the DDT crash power, ice power, and the power of sleep, where Kirby sleeps. And most importantly, the power to do everything completely wrong. This is because, ironically enough, King DDD was actually trying to save Dreamland. King DDD attempted to stop Kirby from reforming the broken star rod, even going so far as using Kirby's suck power, but to no avail. Pleading and pleading after being bested by the best, King DDD fails to hide the star rod from Kirby's massive power, and thus Nightmare is awakened. Doesn't matter because Kirby is the man. He kicks Nightmare's ass. Not even a nightmare can stop the force that is named Kirby, which begs the question, who truly is the Nightmare. Kirby now controls the dreams for the people in Dreamland, and he will determine when and where they will dream. As well, Kirby puts the Star Rod back in its intended place, but he is more than able to take it away. No one is safe from Kirby's power. If you are in Kirby's path, then Kirby is coming for you. He is coming for you. And he is going to land on his face. Quest with me. Learn with us. Enrich your mind. Empower your anchor like our material. Subscribe to our page. Put character into quest. Return every Monday for more. A question. Ah, oh, character.